Hi, I'm Scott Anderson, tech lead on the product team at Influx Data, and today I'm going to talk to you about pivoting data in Flux. The most common use case for pivoting data is aligning two or more fields into rows based on time so that you can operate on those fields. So for example, I have this input table that has three columns, time, field, and value. If you look closely, all the time values are the same, but I have three unique fields, temperature, humidity, and dew point, and their associated values. In order to operate on these different fields at the same time, I need to pivot them into rows based on time so that we get an output table that looks something like this. Now, in order to do that, I take this input data and I use the pipe forward operator to forward it into the pivot function as input data. I first specify the row key, which defines what column we're pivoting the data on. For every unique value in the row key column or list of columns, I'll get one output row. I then define the column key. For every unique value in the column key columns, I'll get one new additional column in my output table per row. I then specify the value column, which is which column I pull the value for those new columns from. So in this case, my output data will include one row with a single timestamp and then a new column for each unique field key in my input data. So I have a new temp column, humidity column, and dew point column. With these columns aligned in a single row based on time, I can then use map or other operations to operate on these different field values at the same time. Now let's move on to a more complex example. This data more accurately reflects data you might actually query from InfluxDB. Pivot operates on a stream of tables, which contains zero or more tables, and InfluxDB returns tables grouped by field. So because we're querying two different fields, we have two different tables in our input data, temperature and humidity. Using the same pivot operation that we discussed in the previous example, I'm going to pivot these input tables on the time column. For every unique field key, I'm going to add a new column to my output rows, and I'm going to populate that column using the value from the value column. So my output table will contain two rows because I only have two unique timestamps in my input data. For each of those rows, I have a temperature column and a humidity column. With these fields aligned into rows based on time, I can then perform mathematical operations or comparisons on these two different field values. Now you might look at this and say, I could also do that with join, and you absolutely can. The only time you need to use join is if the schema of your data sets that you're bringing together are completely different or if they're from completely different data sources. Because the schema of the two tables that we're pivoting together are the same, we can just use pivot and we don't have to use join. Hopefully this helps you. I'm excited to see what you build.